Okay. The police officers have been ordered to pay compensation to the petitioner from their personal funds. Now, the IGP is also the disciplinary authority of certain levels of police officers. While the National Police Commission is the disciplinary authority under the constitution of all police officers, except the IGP, the National Police Commission has uh, delegated some of its powers to various officers, including the IGP. So, here's a situation where the head of the, the person who, who is the acting head of the department has been found guilty by the Supreme Court of not only of illegal arrest and detention, but also uh, torture. So we thought that the Lawyers Collective should enlighten the people about the implications of this very important judgment. We have today with us Professor uh, Savitri Gunasekara, Emeritus Professor of Law in the city of Colombo. We have President's Council, Kujar Surya, President's Council, Dinar Phillips, Professor Vivika Autengrama, Chair Professor of Law at the Tehran University, we also have Chagat Kundratna, Senior Senior Law. Yes. I will now call upon Professor Savitri for the second group. Thank you very much. Uh, Pakocharanyak mata, naduak, kita patkaran ber. 
confessions to a police officer cannot be implicated. So, I am not sure. 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 I Police, uh, either the some food never pulled on the name the Then is the girl you took in a piligana, piliganima? Nah. Any sasa, my may vade, yea, for the party. Anything I'm making, other hand can that, you know, bad liver. Make a ragger, you see, make a damn man, but I don't talk to that is a piligana. May then at time you to work. Yam Kriamata got it. You say, say, we never read, we never attend Kaleo too. Then Constitutional one of the key mark at the maker, may party be my career. Then may party be my kid, what a pass, may vague, a routine work, be an opportunity. Make any car, so do they kill some anchor and bear? Yam, Piver, and got a youth. Jimokat the gun, Piver, may somebody. The Ekaita Matna, Pedaka. Then, up in Danua, may Mataka the East Case Tartica in. Then Illegal arrest 
plethora of jurisprudence in this country on the fact that these are illegal and unconstitutional. But well, it took until the police started to hear through 2010. It's a serious issue. Because that means to say there's a systemic problem here, an institutional problem, where the constitution, international human rights management, etc., don't actually apply to the police service. <coughs> they can do what they like. Despite the fact that we have cases, despite the fact that this happens. And this does not be very good because it raises the issue of whether a police can function in this manner, violating the four norms of democracy and the rule of law. And they do it. And the court says, no, it is shocking that this is being done. And therefore it asks that this be taken, fines, etc. So I think this is very important. It tries all the uh, or the other cases in support of that. The other point is that it goes through very carefully the evidence. Because people can turn down and say, uh, oh, 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 put in there. No evidence. No. The court goes through very carefully the medical evidence and shows that all these things happen in the torture of this person. And the torture, I'm sure my colleague, others of this country will talk about the actual torture, because I think we should also consider what will be of torture. So that is a very serious issue as to why even though they know that a confession to a police officer cannot be committed in a court of law, they still torture in order to get evidence of a confession or some evidence that a person has admitted that he did this, did this wrong. So that is extremely important. And therefore this is for us citizens and occasion in which we must ask how this uh, acting IGP Tenacore, who had this pending case against him, could have been nominated for this very high office by the president, that his nomination should have been in, uh, to the group by a majority of the Constitutional Council. So even as the court is saying that these police officers have not, not fulfilled their obligation. We see that others in places of high office, we have to ask, have they fulfilled their responsibility in the courts? So the case is also evidence based, it's very carefully written, and it goes on to the issue of systemic flaws, questions that and says that if you want to change this, you have to take action against these identified persons. And the uh, acting IGP in the court is cited in the case as a respondent against whom that action has been taken. And I'd like to conclude with a quotation from Justice Pereira Rajasthan, where he says, and I'm going to read it in English, and I'm going to read it in Sinhala. He says, the stars that adorn uniforms are not ornaments of power, but rather reminders of the immense responsibility that comes with authority and office. Kuriraja Isu ne Raksna Kivara ne Narbindu e Tamanke Lakirwa Tamanke Ilevasien Adina uniform ये
submit him back again before the magistrate on the 21st as required by law. The level magistrate knew that there was something fishy about him and he directed the registrar to call the police and the DIG and then ask him, direct him to produce the suspect immediately and then he was produced before court on the 22nd at which stage this uh, the suspect, the petitioner, uh, revealed all the harassment and the torture that he had been subjected to and then the general measure granted bail immediately. Immediate. And they directed that he be given uh, medical treatment. And then the general uh, judges of the Supreme Court have gone into this, and gone into detail, detail and they have believed the version of the petitioner. Believe the version of the petitioner as comparable with the as stated to be comparable with the medical evidence that was also before court and then come to this finding where five officers have been directed to pay 500,000 rupees each to the petitioner. Now this is not all. Now, the, 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 the fifth respondent particularly has also been facing other criminal charges. In one of those cases, the attorney general has directed that he <coughs> indicted. Indicted means a charge in the high court. Now that he has gone to the court of appeal and they got that uh, indictment uh, state, but the attorney general of a private party has appealed on that judgment of the court of appeal and which is now pending before the Supreme Court. So it is ironical as to why or did ever did the Constitutional Council ever consider these matters, particularly the appeal that is pending in the Supreme Court at that time, or even this case that was also pending in the Supreme Court. Uh, for adjudication, a matter of torture. Irrespective of all that, he has been now appointed as a uh, IGP. This is shocking. What is our reputation as a country? What is our reputation in the international arena? Is, is it the kind of rule of law that we have in this country and that we are expecting the foreigners, the international uh, community, to come to this country and make their investments? If they, this is if this is the kind of rule of law that is being demonstrated by the legal authorities, not only the police department now in this instance, the Constitutional Council as well. We are in a very sad situation. I don't think anyone would ever look at this country with this kind of rule of law that is being demonstrated.